Welcome back, you gorgeous weirdos. Happy 2024. I'm so glad you're here. So you may have seen this image floating around social media. It is the cracked ice nail. And I'm not sure if this is something y'all are into, but I really wanted to give it a go and see how easy it is to do. So that's what we're going to do today. This is going to be a super quick tutorial because honestly, this is so easy. If you're looking for a nail design that looks badass, but is super simple to do, I got you. So of course I'm going to do this over press-ons. This is something that you definitely want to use clear extensions for. This will not work over your longer natural nail because you need that free edge from where your natural nail ends at your fingertip down to be crystal clear. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the back half of this nail a neutral kind of nail bed color <laughs> i want to cover up the visible nail line so i'm just going to throw on some gel polish at the back end of the nail these extensions make that super easy i'm just following where that kind of etched area is in the back of the nail so i'm going to do that for all of the nails once i have that done i'm going to go ahead and throw a second coat on just to give it a little bit more opacity you're going to see why here in the end i'm carrying for about 30 seconds in my led uv super simple once i have that done we can move on to the fun stuff but i'm going to top coat real quick because that is all we're doing on the top of the nail everything else we're going to do is going to be on the under side of the nail so i'm going to go ahead throw on the top coat and then we're going to get into this cracked ice and you're not going to believe how easy this is So I'm going to go ahead and flip all of these nails upside down because again, all, all the things we're going to be doing is going to be on the underside of the nail. So I'm just going to throw them upside down on my nail stand. This is why I love using a nail stand and I do use the adhesive tabs, same that I'll use to apply the press-ons to my nail. That's what I use on the nail stand. Super duper easy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this um, rubber base gel that I have from Sassy Mouth. And I want to apply this in a thick layer, okay? You don't want to skimp on this because this is what's going to create the texture on the nail. I'm just going to go from that smile line where I put that background color on down. You only want the free edge of this. You don't want to cover up what's going to be on your nail, you know? So I'm going to put that down. I'm going to put down a little bit of saran wrap. That's right, saran wrap, cling wrap, whatever you want to call it. And now I'm just going to make some indents with an orange wood stick, stabby stick, whatever you want to call it, and cure it. Once I have it cured, I'm going to take it out of the lamp. I'm curing for a full minute. I'm going to remove the saran wrap, which comes off super easily, and bing, bing, boom, it's cracked ice. It is literally that simple. Look how cool this looks. Now, you have two options on how you want to finish this. I'm going to throw on a no-wipe gel top coat just so there's no tacky layer underneath that nail. If you want, you can always rub it down with a little alcohol if you don't want to top coat it. But I feel like that top coat underneath the nail makes it ultra docious clear, which is what you want for the cracked glass look. And look at how freaking cool this looks. I wanted to do a little something extra on these. I've not played nearly enough with gemstones. So what I'm going to do, here's the whole set, by the way. Look how cool this looks. I'm literally obsessed. I'm going to throw some gemstones on that smile line just to kind of add a little bling to this 
And if your smile line is not perfect, gemstones are a great way to kind of camouflage, camel, <laughs> I said camouflage, <laughs> camouflage any imperfections there might be in that smile line. I'm just using a little bit of gel top coat. You can use any gel that you want. You can use nail glue if you want to. I'm just going to place rhinestones along that smile line. Once I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and cure for another full minute and we're going to get these on the nails. So these are now pretty much done. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a gentle file and just clean up any of that rubber base gel that might have been hanging over the free edge. And this is what it's going to look like on the nail. You can use rubber base, you can use um, builder gel, poly gel, whatever your gel of choice is. It's going to work beautifully, but this is what they look like. I love this so much. They just look so different. I hope you guys try this. If this is what you're into, if you have, let me know. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me today. I hope the rest of your day is as beautiful as you are, and I will catch you in the next one. Love you. Bye.